So I paid a little bit more for this laptop than I would have liked to, but in my opinion, it was totally worth it. Hello guys, and welcome to another installment of A Computers and Technology. Right in front of you, you can see a Lenovo T410 that I picked off eBay for 65 bucks plus $17 shipping. Now that seems like a lot to me because I usually pick up computers for five to 10 bucks and that's about my limit. But I saw this on eBay and I really, really wanted it because it looks brand new. I mean, this thing looks like it just rolled off the line, uh, especially when you open the lid up. There are a couple scratches here and there on the lid, as you can see. Uh, they're not really noticeable at all. I mean, just look at this thing. It looks like someone bought it and then just stuck it in the closet for six years before it was put on eBay. The keyboard has absolutely no wear. It looks brand new. The trackpad has a tiny, tiny bit of wear around this section right here, uh, and then the keys up here and down down here, you know, look absolutely beautiful. I mean, this whole thing looks absolutely beautiful. As you can see, the screen is in great condition. Gonna close this up, uh, just turn it around. Um, and as you can also see, is missing the DVD drive. I went ahead and jumped on eBay, bought one for like, I think seven bucks and it's already here. And then it's also missing the hard drive and hard drive caddy as well. Uh, but that's not a big problem either because I, uh, you know, if I bought this with the hard drive, I would have replaced it with a solid state drive anyway. Uh, and the caddies are dirt cheap. I think I bought one for $2 and 50 cents and that is also sitting in the closet. And you're probably wondering why I haven't installed any of those yet. And that's because I do plan on making a little upgrade video about this laptop. Now, maybe one or two weeks from now, because this is actually not going to me. Okay, so I still love my IBM uh, slash Lenovo T60 that I have right here. Been using it for school. Uh, put uh, quite a bit of money into it. I actually just bought a uh, Ultra Bay battery for this thing too, and it gets like six hours of battery life. Um, but the point is, I really love this laptop, and I'm gonna keep using it till either Lenovo releases a retro ThinkPad, and if that never happens, I'm going to buy a uh, T420 off eBay for as cheap as possible. Um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna stick it out with my T60. So this is actually going to my system this is going to be a little Christmas present to her um, because the laptop that she has now is just god awful. It's slow, it's cheap, it's flimsy, and I just want to take it and throw it in the garbage because we bought it at Black Friday like I think three years ago. And yeah, it's it's one of those, you know, cheap little Dell Inspiron uh, 3521s. I mean, they're okay for basic schoolwork, but they're not really comparable um, to the performance or quality of this ThinkPad right here. So to reiterate, in preparation of giving this thing to my sister, I will be adding a new hard drive caddy, 500 gigabyte solid state drive, new nine cell genuine Lenovo battery, uh, and a DVD drive. And I also have to crack this thing open to replace the thermal paste on the CPU. Now, before I boot this thing up into a live instance of Ubuntu 16.04, yes, I'm not gonna be installing Windows on this system today. One, because it doesn't have a hard drive, um, and two, because it would just take way too much time in this video. I will be installing Windows on this system during the upgrade video, and I will be running benchmarks on this system during the upgrade video, and when that video is up and published, I will put the link to it down in the description if I remember to. Um, so I'm gonna walk you guys around the laptop real quick. So you've already seen uh, the inside of the laptop. Oh, let's take a quick look at all the I.O. we have on the outside. So it uh, looks like right here we have three USB 2.0 ports along with a display port right here. We have an Ethernet port, uh, VGA out, and you can see the exhaust vent for our i7. Uh, it's an i7 uh, M620 at 2.6 gigahertz. Uh, this thing also has four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM inside it, uh, and we are utilizing integrated Intel graphics. On the other side, uh, you can see the uh, large gap for our DVD drive, another USB 2.0 port, eSATA, uh, headphone jack, and I think that's about it. There's also a, a hard Wi-Fi switch on the right side. Um, and then on the front, you can see the latch to release the lid along with a SD card slot. And then on the back and bottom, there's really nothing too interesting. You can see the battery right here. And is this a Lenovo battery or is it just some aftermarket battery? No, this is a Lenovo battery. And I have uh, tested this for just a little bit and it does hold some sort of charge. Uh, I tested it during the behind the scenes video that's a website exclusive on the website right now where I gave you guys a little sneak peek of this laptop. If you want to check that video out, the link to it will be in the description. Now, 
I'm kind of curious to see what is under here. It's probably just a slot uh, for RAM. So I'm going to go ahead and pop it open. So there's a better look at our single stick of DDR3. And as you can see right next to it, we have a mini PCI Express slot. So you could throw some sort of connectivity card in there. And now I'm about to get to the moment that you guys have all been waiting for. Now there is a small catch to this. It's nothing horrendous, but there is a supervisor password on this system. Uh, it should not prevent me from installing an operating system. Uh, it did not prevent me from booting up into a live installation of Ubuntu, uh, but I cannot change any settings in the BIOS, which really isn't that big of a deal um, because I wouldn't change any settings in the BIOS besides the time anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing on and show you guys what I am talking about and hopefully that's in frame. No, it's not. So I'm going to hit F2. Oh, no, I meant to hit F1. So we're going to hit F1 to get into the BIOS or setup. And as you can see, uh, it is locked. I tried a couple different uh, backdoor passwords I found online and none of them worked. And by the way, um, the password is stored on EEPROM, I believe, uh, which retains state when you cut power. And I went through a couple electrical engineering books to see um, the best way to go about erasing the EEPROM. And there was a couple weird things about using UV light for an extended period of time. Um, and it got really complicated and convoluted. And I think it's probably better to just leave this how it is because once again I don't really need to change any settings in the BIOS and I can select a boot device by just hitting F11 and selecting a boot device so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this thing on or turn this thing off and then turn it back on um, as you can see there is also a think light up here which is a nice touch um, I don't know I, I personally think it's kind of a novelty I don't really use the think light too much um, is it going to boot into Ubuntu did I miss it you know it would help if I was actually hitting the right key. It was F12, not F11 to get into the boot menu. But as you can see, um, it is detecting my uh, USB solid state drive and I'm going to go ahead and try Ubuntu without installing. So I just made a very interesting discovery. Okay, so first off, this model ships with the higher resolution display, which is 1440 by 900. And that's not all. Earlier I said that this was using Intel Integrated Graphics. It is not using Intel Integrated Graphics. This actually has a Quadro uh, NVS 3100M inside. Um, and you know, it's nothing you know, super special, especially for today's standards, but it is dedicated um, graphics. This thing has dedicated graphics inside. Um, so you can see the uh, NVS 3100M specs right here. Uh, I'll also throw them up on the screen if you guys want to read uh, that off real quick. And I've just been using this system for a little bit to do some research about the system itself. Um, and it's been super responsive, even just off this uh, USB hard drive. I was trying to find command to uh, uh, display all of the uh, system specifications. And if you want to check those out, they are all right here. I've just been having a ton of fun with this laptop. I mean, this thing just feels powerful and Ubuntu runs so well on it. I wish I could leave it on here, um, but my sister is accustomed to Windows and there's nothing wrong with that. I like both operating systems, um, but yeah, I don't know. Ubuntu just, just feels right for this computer for some reason. Um, and I did actually go to the effort to select the uh, proprietary NVIDIA driver. Um, and I didn't think it would work because this is a live installation, even though there is some space allocated for changes. I selected the driver, restarted the system, and lo and behold, uh, we got the NVIDIA logo upon boot. And it appears that it is using the uh, proprietary driver that I selected. And check out this animation. Ooh, did you guys see that? Watch it again. That's so smooth. Look at that. Oh my goodness, the graphics on this thing are awesome. Uh, and when I am opening stuff, keep in mind that we are running this thing off a uh, USB hard drive and this thing has USB 2.0, but everything just is nice and smooth on this machine. I mean, as you can see, LibreOffice Calc just opened instantly. Stuff's just opening like that left and right. Um, I can take this, drag it around. The window doesn't lag behind at all. Oh, check out that, check out that animation. Oh, that looks so good. I'll pop open an instance of the file manager and just drag it around here. I do plan on uh, upgrading this to eight gigabytes of RAM, by the way. I don't think I said that earlier. Uh, let's go ahead and close all of this out. I don't doubt the system's multitasking capabilities. I mean, this thing is gonna be able to handle a ton. Uh, probably even some light gaming. And when I get to the Windows installation during the upgrade video, I will install some games on this thing. Uh, so let's go ahead and navigate to YouTube and 
try to play back a YouTube video at 1080p and I will also show you that sound is working as well. So there we go, we got a video at 1080p at 60 FPS and that is the audio playing through the speakers right now. Let's go ahead and hit a couple of her sites just for the heck of it. So I'm gonna hit my website first and as you can see sites just load up like that. This is a very 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 snappy machine. So once everything has loaded up scrolling is nice and smooth. I mean this thing Oh man, this thing is just great. So I'm going to hit my archive site now. Once again, uh, load it up pretty much instantly. Let's hit the Associated Press's website. No problem there, everything's A-OK. -okay. And scrolling is nice and smooth. And last but not least, let's hit CNN.com. And as I have always said, CNN's website is kind of a mess. Um, pretty taxing, even my you know editing rig has trouble opening this thing up. Um, it's, it's, it's just cluttered. There's so many scripts and so many things, just ads and everything else uh, running on this site that things tend to slow down. But as you can see, this system is not skipping a beat. It's handling uh, CNN.com just fine, which is actually kind of impressive. So we're going to close out of this. Uh, I think that's really about it as far as demoing this with a live version of Ubuntu is concerned. You saw that animation right there, nice and smooth. Let's just pop open the dash and ah, everything just works great with Ubuntu 16.04 in combination with this laptop. Um, so that's going to be about it for this demo. Once again, uh, check the description for the upgrade video. I'm going to go a little bit more in depth with benchmarking this thing and really pushing it to its limits. So that's going to be about it for this video. And I was just kind of comparing the quality between the T60 and the T410 because I have both of them in front of me and why not? Um, and honestly, I like the T60 uh, much better as far as quality is concerned. Don't get me wrong. I mean, this thing is still very well built. The T410 is very very well built, uh, much better than the Inspiron 15 that my sister currently has, um, but really the uh, T60 standard of quality is a pretty hard one to top. Uh, and by the way, uh, if you guys want to check out the seller where I got the T10 from, or T410 from, uh, the link to the seller will be down in the description. Um, and if you want to check out where I got the uh, uh, T60 from, I'm getting them all mixed up, but if you want to check out where I got the uh, T60 from, uh, and I bought this for 10 bucks off eBay, the link to that seller will Will also be in the description. Um, so as I said, that's going to be about it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment in the comment section. Uh, this thing is going to make a great machine um, for my sister, and I'm really excited to get to the upgrade video. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to drop a like on it. If you didn't like it, please tell me why. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Now, if you want to support me, you can use my Amazon or eBay affiliate links. Both of those links will be down in the description. You can also support me by checking out my Patreon. Oh yeah, I always forget this, but don't forget to drop a like on the Facebook page. Uh, and the Facebook page is where you're going to get all of the latest AA computers and technology updates. A lot of people were asking me why I hadn't made a video or when I'm going to make my next video. And I had already talked about that on the Facebook page. So if you're wondering what's going on, the Facebook page is the best place to check. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next installment of A Computers and Technology.